Hi everybody, so today I'm showing you how to do a New Year's Eve makeup look and I actually already did my makeup. You can see all the rhinestone and the glitter in my eye makeup. It's actually super, super easy, believe it or not. Um, there's just a little bit of an eyeliner and I put some Swarovski crystals on my um, lash line and just a rosy lip. You can also change it up and do a red lip if you want to, but um, I promise you it's a pretty easy makeup look to do. Keep on watching and I will show you step by step on how to create this makeup look. Happy New Year and I see you next year. Bye! All right, so I'm starting right with my foundation. I'm using a Chanel foundation in shade number 30 and I'm applying it with a foundation brush and then I'm also using my beauty blender. So I'm putting that all over my skin with my foundation brush. And I can see some glitter on my face. I was experiencing some glitter earlier. I'm so sorry, guys, if you will see some glitter on my face. We were playing with glitter here earlier, my team and I, and it's all over my face, so I'm so sorry. All right, so I'm going right into my eye makeup. Again, I've already done my brows and there's really nothing on my eyelid. There's a few steps. There's, it's all in the eyeliner and it's all silvery shades and some glitter and some rhinestone. The first product here is my Smashbox liner. It's a really pretty silvery liner and I'm just kind of creating the shape of my eyeliner first. I'm going to go really close to the lash line. And the inner corner is thinner and then I go out a little bit thicker and then I bring it out a little bit on the outer corner, go upwards. Right. You know, right now this is just like kind of like a guideline. So I'm going to go back with another product which is a little bit more intense. This is a NARS product and this is a um, silvery eyeliner. I'm going to layer this on top of it with a thin eyeliner brush and put that on top of this liner we just created. Very thin in the inner corner. And then I drag it outwards and then to create that wing I just go first outwards and then inwards okay so I just corrected it a little bit off camera because it's really difficult for me to do this on camera but basically I like to kind of look up like that you see and then I kind of create my wing that way the same thing on that side I look up and then I go downwards and then backwards like that. I go in with another product on top of it, which is a Urban Decay product, and it's a goldy kind of eyeliner pencil with glitter in it. So it's like a gel base and it has some glitter. So I'm gonna put that on top of it, just everywhere where you see where you created that line. You can even go a little bit higher if you want to. And then we're also going to drag it outwards. All right, so the next step is applying uh, Ardell lashes. I picked the number 110 and I'm going to do this really quickly off camera. All right, so I just applied my lashes and they look pretty natural, I have to say. Now, I didn't do any mascara beforehand, so I'm going to go in right now to apply a little bit of mascara and this one here is by The Balm. I've been using this mascara quite a lot on myself. I really like it. I like the brush. It's really nice and thin and I go in and apply it now and so what this does it just kind of marries your natural lash with your uh, strip lash. I'm also going to put just a touch 
on the lower lash line. All right, so I'm almost done to this eye makeup look. Now, this is kind of like the showstopper to this eye makeup. It's really fun. So these are some rhinestones by Swarovski. I just kind of picked them off. They come in like this cute little package. You can order them on Amazon anywhere. And they're little rhinestones. And I put some eyelash glue next to it. And all you need is a tweezer right here. And then you pick up the rhinestone with your tweezer. And then you dip it in the glue a little bit, which is right here off camera right now. I'm sorry, it's just a bit hard to show you. And then I'm going to place the rhinestone on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm putting about four rhinestones on each eye. So it just gives a really beautiful, uh, nice little add-on to your eye makeup. And I think it's really festive and really fun for New Year's Eve. So I'm going to try to show you somehow on the camera. So I pick it up. This is the rhinestone on my tweezer. And then I dip just very lightly, I dip it into the glue. So there's a bit of glue right now on that rhinestone. And then I turn it and then I place it. And I'm going to put another one right here on the outer corner, right here. And then I'm going to put a few more. I'm going to do this off camera really quickly. Okay, so I just placed all my rhinestones. Uh, as you can see, I kind of like ended here in the middle of my iris. So I have one, two, three, four, five rhinestones on my eyes on each side. And they just add such a fun little uh, drama to the eyes. Uh, and I'm done with my eye makeup. So the next step now is I'm applying some NARS concealer. And I'm putting that right underneath my eyes, just like that, a little bit. And also that kind of cleans everything up right away. I'm going to also put that a little bit in the middle here, just to add a little bit more of a highlight and right in here. And then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender. And I'm just buffing that product into my skin. Um, to get a little bit closer underneath the eye, I'm just going to bring a brush in. All right, so after applying concealer, I'm going to bring in my powder. And for that, I chose a Dolce & Gabbana press powder. This is a beautiful powder. It really gives a beautiful finish to your skin. It's quite heavy, so that's why I'm using a very light, fluffy brush for that. Um, I've also been using this powder just by itself. Um, and you can even damp your brush a little bit, and it just, it's just a really nice coverage. Now. If you feel like it's too powdery for you, you can always go in with some Fix Plus and it will just kind of like make it a bit more luminous looking. I want this makeup to last all night, especially because it's a New Year's Eve makeup look. So that's why I'm definitely going to powder a little bit more than usual. All right, so my next product is a uh, Bobbi Brown uh, contour, or it's a bronzer really. Um, I like it for contour because it doesn't have any shimmer in it. So it's very matte and it's a really beautiful color. So I'm using that in the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm also going to bring it a little bit in my temple and in my forehead. I just applied my bronzer and the next product is a Edward Bess uh, blush. I really love this color. It's just this perfect like corally pinky color. It doesn't have too much shimmer in it and I just like to apply it lightly with like the same brush I used earlier for my powder and uh, I just put it a little bit, just a pop of color on the apples of my cheeks and you can see the difference. It just gives a really beautiful little color to my, to my face. The last step to this makeup is my lips. Um, I chose just a really pretty dark pink rose color. Um, you can do anything. It really depends on your mood. I think you can even pair a really beautiful red lip with this because um, everything is quite simple and elegant and, and there's, you know, I mean, there's a lot going on in the eyes, but I think for a New Year's Eve, you can definitely do a red lip. I'm going to do just something really kind of, this is Dolce and & Gabbana and it's called uh, Sophia Loren and I'm applying it directly out of the bullet. So this color just adds a bit of rosy pink to my lip and uh, I just love the texture. It's not too shiny and I think it just really 
complements the rest of my makeup and uh, I hope you like it.